It's a sport rich in history. With devoted fans and supreme athletes. A truly unique game that grips a nation. Blistering speed, incredible skill. Remarkable courage. This is the AFL. Australian football, often referred to as AFL or simply football, originates back to 1858 when a young man named Thomas Wentworth Wills decided that Australian cricketers needed a new way to keep fit during the winter. He created a game which drew upon the best aspects of all the known football codes. The result was the unique and innovative game with the first recorded match of Australian football taking place on the 7th of August, 1858. Over the next 40 years, the game flourished and clubs were formed throughout the country. Leagues were created in the Australian states of South Australia, Western Australia and Victoria. Popularity continued to grow and in 1897, a group of eight Victorian teams broke away from the state competition and formed the Victorian Football League. Today, the game has become Australia's national sport, played at all levels in the community. In 1990, the elite competition was renamed the AFL, the Australian Football League. It has become Australia's equivalent to the English Premier League in England and the National Football League in the USA. There are now 18 clubs in the competition. Each year they play a season of 22 games across every Australian state, with stadiums in every major capital city. The season eventually culminates in the biggest day on the Australian sporting calendar, when 100,000 impassioned fans fill the stands of the MCG in Melbourne to watch the two best teams play off in the championship game, the AFL Grand Final. AFL is now becoming a truly international sport and is already being played in more than 50 countries. AFL matches are watched in over 350 million homes across 249 territories worldwide. And with an average of over 35,000 supporters at each game, the AFL exceeds competitions like the English Premier League and US Major League Baseball in terms of attendance. The unique mix of speed, strength and skill makes AFL a game unlike any other. AFL is played with an oval leather ball. All players wear a number on the back of their team uniform to help identify them. This number has no relation to their position or skill level. The game takes place on a grass oval. Unlike most other sporting codes, the size of the playing surface differs from ground to ground. An average field is 165 metres long and 135 metres wide, or in yards, 180 by 150. A white boundary line designates the field of play. The ground is also marked with two 50 metre or 55 yard arcs, a centre square and a centre circle. At each end of the field is a goal square, marked in front of the two goal posts, which are 6.4 metres or 7 yards apart. Both teams have 22 players, each with their own position based on their size and skills. 18 players start on the field and four on the bench, one of whom is a substitute who can replace another player at any point in the game. Generally, six players start in the forward line, six in the back line and six in the midfield. The forward line positions include a full forward, two forward pockets, a centre half forward 
and two half-forward flanks. The main objective of the forward line is to kick goals. The full forward and centre half forward are usually big, strong players, similar to a power forward in basketball. The forward pockets and half forward flanks are smaller and quicker, comparable to a striker in soccer. The midfield consists of a ruckman, a rover, a ruck rover, a centre and two wings. The ruckman is usually the tallest player on the team. They contest centre bounces and ball ups and hit the ball down to their smaller teammates, in some ways resembling a centre in basketball. The rover, ruck rover and centre aim to win possession and distribute to their team comparable to basketball's point guards. The wing players are similar to attacking midfielders in soccer. Their main objective is to provide attack for their team and kick it to their forwards. They're usually fast and agile. In the back line, a team will have a fullback, two back pockets, a centre half back and two half back flanks. These players match up on the opposition forwards and aim to stop them from scoring goals. They are normally a similar size and weight to their direct opponent, so that they can adequately match up on them. Defenders should also be able to turn defence into attack and make their opposition accountable, as one of the unique features of AFL is that any player may kick a goal. The game is officiated by a team of nine umpires. This includes three field umpires who are on field with the players and uphold the rules, four boundary umpires who determine if the ball has left the field of play and throw it back in if it has, and two goal umpires who are judge and signal goals and behinds. The game begins with the centre bounce. The match is played in four 20-minute quarters to which time is added to compensate for the time when the ball is not in play, such as the time taken to return the ball to the centre to restart play after a goal has been scored. AFL games have a six-minute break after the first and third quarters and a 20-minute break at half-time, meaning a full game will normally run for around three hours. When a player has possession of the ball, they may run in any direction, providing they bounce it every 15 metres or 16 yards. They may dispose of it by either kicking or handballing. To kick the ball, they guide it down over their boot with one hand and kick towards their target. To handball, they balance the ball on one hand and make a fist with the other. They then strike the ball with the fist in the direction of their target. The most spectacular part of play is the mark. When a player catches the ball directly on the full from a kick. They may step back from the spot they marked and dispose of the ball undeterred. Or they may play on immediately. The player may prevent their opponent from marking by punching the ball. This is called spoiling. Advantage by Duncan runs to 50. Duncan for Geelong kicks the goal. When an attacking player kicks the ball between the two centre posts, the goal is awarded and six points go to their team. If an opponent gets a touch on the ball, if it hits the goal post, or if the ball travels over the line between a goal and a smaller behind post, a behind is scored and one point is given. When the final siren blows, the team with the most points is declared the victor. And to the victor, go the spoils. Players can kick. He's going to top here. Thomas gets onto it. Handball. Or punch the ball. Handballs to Collins. That's a throw. If a player throws or hands the ball to another player. Or drops the ball whilst being tackled, a free kick will be given to the opposition. 
Lee Franklin goes back. Advantage is paid. It's a one-man back He's away. A player may run with the ball for as long as they wish, provided they bounce it at least every 15 metres. He can't bounce it through. He kicks it through on the ball. If they don't do this, they will be penalised. This is referred to as running too far. Gilbert's got it. Takes on Rich. Gilbert got it from Fish. He's gone too far. Once a player has possession, they must kick or handball before they're tackled. If a player is deemed to have had prior opportunity to dispose of the football and fail to do so, the free kick is awarded to the tackler. Gathers it well with one hand and takes them on. Oh, he's right down again. A player attempting to tackle must grab the opposition between the shoulders and knees. Taken by Garland. Can he outrun Fletcher? No, sir. Any contact above the shoulders will be penalised for too high. Created something out of nothing. Looks up. Ling and full tilt kept coming. Man stood his ground and he'll get the free kick, lads, and taken high. And any below the knees will be penalised for tripping. A player cannot push another in the back. This applies when tackling and also in marking contests. If a player is tackled, grabbed or held when they don't have the ball, they will be awarded a free kick. This is called holding the man. He just creates that surge for the West Coast Eagles. The midfield players can go to the ball with great confidence. Free kick, Carl! When a player has marked the ball or received a free kick, their opposition must be careful not to further infringe. If a player argues with the umpire or further impedes an opposition player, they may be disciplined with a 50 metre penalty, equivalent to 55 yards. Here's the 50. 50 yeah, what's the law? You cannot uh, encroach the mark. He was on the mark, he stepped over and he got his right way. When the ball crosses the boundary line on the full from a kick, it is the opposition's free kick. <laughs> oh, it's disappointing, isn't it? If it bounces beforehand or comes off a player's hand, it is a throw-in, unless a player is adjudged to have done it deliberately. This also results in an opposition's free kick. Harbrow, back of the pack, needs to show some point. Oh, that's oh, intentional. Oh, baby! Absolutely intentional. A player may kick the ball directly off the ground, providing there is no chance of them kicking an opposition player. If a player is adjudged to be putting an opponent in danger, the opponent will be awarded a free kick. A team is only allowed 18 players on the field at once. If found to have extra players on the field, or if a player does not enter the field through the designated interchange area, the opposition will be awarded a free kick and a 50 metre penalty. The elite national competition features clubs from all over Australia. There are 18 AFL teams in total, 10 from Victoria and 2 from each of New South Wales, Queensland, Western Australia and South Australia. And they're away. Ballantyne. Bounce through the midfield. Pavlich. Half forward, Taylor, big fist, back to Ballantyne, back to Pavlich. Can he kick this one? Handballs it back to Ballantyne, kicks a goal. Oh, the darling Ballantyne! And the ricochets with Robinson. And where's Eddie? Walker's got the sit here. Oh, what a screamer. Everyone's up with that one. He's up, up. He's got the talk going in. He saw him practicing some barrels pre-game, and that's one that he didn't get onto that almost went to the middle. And they have the advantage, they do. Johnson goes with a magnificent kick to Stokes. He looks inside, he sees Mooney, could have gone himself. Mooney better not miss this one up. Into the open goal, gets it. Liberatore, not the first time a Liberatore's taken a free kick for holding the ball. Hall almost marking that at the back. Dalhouse from the impossible angle! 
the ball up. Hartland. Stolen, but a handball to Mr. Target. Ablett is away. Got from Brennan. Needs to kick the goal, Gary Ablett. They need the captain to kick along. Oh, that is and strong. Easy it up here, the Suns. Chapman, great vision. But how does a man get on his own so far, standing in the corridor like Wojcicki? No one near him. No one near him at all. Well, he's going to just take him on. He's going to keep going. Wojcicki, oh, another right. bounce to 40 metres. It'll bring the house down. And why wouldn't it? It's brilliant footy. Yeah, the other end, Rhino, unfortunately, not getting it in there. McKenzie takes off, uses some pace, almost within range. There's no one in the square. Oh, he keeps please. it low. This would be one of the goals of the year. Yes! It doesn't get any better than that. AFL is becoming a global sport with over 100,000 players internationally spread across many countries. AFL Premiership season, final series and grand final matches are broadcast online worldwide and on television in 249 territories. To find out how to watch AFL in your region, please visit afl.com.au forward slash broadcast guy. Or to find out more about getting involved with AFL in your country, please log on to afl.com.au forward slash international.